Hey, bud. Hi. How about you? How you doing, bud? You good? Yeah. Who's this sweet boy? <laughs> Goodness, you're too cute for your own good, Kepler. You really are. Hello, everyone. And welcome to uh, Monday. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I um, I really am. I, I uh, I slept in a little bit. Um, just because, you know, sleep is probably important. So I, I tried to get a little extra sleep, and um, uh, it's what time is it? Noon? Yeah, it's like twelve something now. Um, Mao is still asleep. Because at one point I woke up and she was awake. And I was like, why are you awake? And she said she couldn't sleep because she felt real sick on her stomach. So um, I got up and found some medicine. She said we didn't have any nausea medicine. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure we do. Because um, I had recently rifled through all of the medicine looking for that Delsum. So I knew that there was nausea medicine, so I got up and I found it, and I gave it to her, and I went back to bed. But apparently she didn't sleep for at least a little while, so I've just kind of been letting her sleep. Um, she is... She's sick. <laughs> Which is probably obvious. But um, she is now where I was a few days ago, where I, when I was really bad. That's where she is now. Um, she has slightly different symptoms than me, though, because she's had nausea, and I never had nausea. She has a sore throat, and I never had a sore throat. So our symptoms are a little different. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm assuming we have the same thing. It's just manifesting itself slightly differently. Our bodies are regulating it in different ways or something. But... Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to wake her up here soon because I've been up for a little, a little bit. I had to take care of some things. I got the cats fed and taken care of. Um, and actually, my parents stopped by earlier today um, because we've actually been on the hunt for a new rug. Because the rug that we've had in our, what do you call that, foyer, main hallway, whatever. The rug that we've had in there is one that we've had since we lived at the apartment. So the rug was like five years old. It was never a great rug to begin with, and um, it had kind of been stomped into oblivion, and it was not in great shape. So we've been um, we've been trying to find a new rug, and we've been trying to find a bigger rug, because one of the problems with the rug that we had is that it was kind of lightweight, and every morning we woke up, the rug was like all over the place, because those those boys over there would run in the night, and it didn't take a whole lot of you know, effort, and the rug would slide. So we wanted to get a heavier rug. Well, my parents found one because they've been looking for one. They wanted to get it, give it to us for Christmas, and um, they found one. So Mom brought it over this morning um, around whenever I woke up, and there it is. And it's, it's just a plain one. It's gray, um, but it's a lot thicker, and it's plush because it's, it's new. And you know it's it's not the nicest rug in the world, but um, that's okay. I mean it's we. I just wanted something that wouldn't slide around because half the time, the problem is like the rug gets slid around and it's in the way of the door. And someone comes to the door and you can't even open the door because the rug's in the way. And then you have to move the rug. You guys are stronger than you uh, than you know. You guys have a lot of power. Anyway, um, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know, I might, I might start making some food or something and then wake up Mal so she can just wake up to a, to a hot meal. That might be nice. Started with some soup. Soup and medicine, because that's the only thing that's going to make... Soup and medicine. Life better is soup and medicine. How are you feeling today, Mal? Sick. How did I know? I don't know. Was it the um, fact I woke up at 6 a.m. and was like, I'm nauseous? Yeah, that, um, I talked about that earlier. Wow. I started the vlog and mentioned that. I'm sorry. Um, 
I'm feeling, you know, like I'm still sick, but I'm I'm now just kind of floating along in like this general stick sick state, um, which is nice because like I it still sucks, but I don't feel necessarily awful. You know, my head's still like stuffy, and um, you know I still feel awful, but not as bad as you feel because I'm past that. You are past that. I'm sorry. Um, Get some showers, and uh, what are you gonna do today? Are you gonna paint? I don't know yet. I might just edit because I haven't done a whole lot of that. Okay, I was gonna say it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a painting day for you. Um, I don't know. I just I don't know how long this is gonna linger around. We gotta go to the doctor today, though. Yeah. That's at four thirty. I guess I can look forward to that. I just finished up at the doctor. Um, that was, I don't know about you, Mal, that was the fastest, bar none, I have ever been inside a doctor's office. Like, from the time we walked in the door to the time we walked out the door. Yeah. That was crazy. Like, we arrived right on time, and they called us back immediately because there's no one else in there. It took us very little time to talk to the, the doctor, mm -hmm. and then we were out. Like, from the time we walked in to the time we walked out, like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. That was fast. Um, I mean, we didn't think she'd be able to do a whole lot. Yeah, and she's not. Um, they're not allowed. As a general physician, they're not allowed to mess with the, the cyst. As a reminder, that's the reason I was coming in today. Now I made the appointment before I actually got sick. Um, but uh, I just, I'm looking for someone to, you know, drain it. And the reason I wanted to do that is because we met the deductible. I was yeah. like, might as well do it. Um, but they referred me to another person. But we don't have an appointment with the other person. No. We just have a referral. Yeah. And if we don't get an appointment by the end of the year, yeah. then everything resets. Yeah. And then the point of doing it is actually lost. We'll see. We'll see if I can if I can get it. I also talked to her about um, the eczema, and she actually wrote me a prescription for some cream of my own. And I was like, all right. And that was it. And I didn't mention my other sickness because... Um, I'm getting over it. I mean, the only thing they could do is give you a steroid shot at this point. Yeah, and and as as much as people now associate me with steroid shots, which is probably not good, um, I don't. What well, you're not supposed to get them very often. Yeah. They do. I forget what it is. They do something to like your bones. It's like if you. It's like kind of like an emergency thing. Um, I mean, and last we were time, getting out of planes. last time I got one, it was an emergency because they're like, "Yeah, if you fly, this is bad. You bust your eardrums or whatever." So um, that's why I had one last time, but this time I should not get a steroid shot. As much as I like them, because you get so much done. In addition to the doctor, we had to pick up a few other things. Um, get some more clementines because it's just a good little snack, especially when you're sick. Also, I've talked about it before, but something about eating citrus, something about eating things that are full of vitamin C makes you feel better. I'm not saying it makes you better. I'm saying it makes you feel better. It's a placebo effect where you drink orange juice or you eat clementines. You just feel like you're getting better. And it might actually speed up the process. I have no idea. Anyway, because it makes me feel good, we got some clementines. Also, um, tissues, which we needed some anyway, but especially with uh, all of the that we've been doing. It's nice. We also picked up some dinner. Mal got um, a I cannot think of what that's called. Spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. I just was looking at like I couldn't even think of the word chicken. I was looking at your sandwich and I was like, what is that? I know I've seen it. Yeah. Um, Mal's been turned on to the spicy chicken sandwich. Also soup. Um, both of which will help the soup will feel good and also the spicy will help open your head. I got something different because we had a free thing. They keep giving us free things. I don't know. Thanks. Um, also, stopped by and picked this up from Dan. This is the newest episode of GTA, which is what we're going to watch while we eat. Um, this is actually getting this kind of, kind of early, but Dan's going to be going out of town, Lindsay too, for Christmas. So I wanted to make sure we get this. So um, this is going to come out at the beginning of January, but... I need to make sure I have this uh, ready to go. GTA was great. Spent the rest of the evening uh, working on stuff. And then 
a little bit of time here at the end of the evening um, taking care of some Christmas stuff because apparently Christmas is in a week I didn't know <laughs> I had no idea so um, there's a few gifts we wanted to get for uh, some folks and we got on the Amazon and clicked the buttons and you know said a little thank you for the fact that it will ship quickly because I didn't even know that Christmas was in a week. Wow. Yeah. That's really soon. Hopefully we're better by then. I think we'll be better. Because I don't feel very good. <laughs> I know, but that's an entire seven days. Well, I'll be better. You might not be better, but I'll be better. And you'll be almost better. Pro probably. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?